Well, as we get into our book sting, uh, book feature rather, remember that you can share your thoughts on some of the books that you're currently, currently reading, have read, or those you'd like to read. All you have to do is send us an email, a tweet, an Instagram with a picture and, of course, a relevant pic, uh, caption of uh, your pick of the week, your must read for 2017, your current read. Let us know what it is. Well, I know what I'll be currently reading and I'll be telling you just about it in a little moment. It's called The Inside Out. Well, I'll tweet it on at morning live sabc you do the same use the hashtag morning live sabc or instagram us using the handle at morning live sabc or simply email morning live at sabc.co.za well after the successful release of his debut novel the raft creative strategist and writer fred stradham is back with yet another thrilling and genius book that he entitled the inside out man my current read <laughs> this read follows the life of a jazz pianist called bent and how his life plans uh, get entangled in a wicked web of uh, leonard frey a wealthy and eccentric jazz music fan stradham's effortless use of language and imagination Imagination takes the reader on a psychological euphoria with every turn of the page. Fred Stratum is here with me in studio to unpack this new read. Welcome to Morning Lab. Thanks very much. I was looking at the back here at some of the uh, reviews uh, on this book. Uh, this one, which was from the Cape, Town, uh, Cape Times, says every character, every leaf, every strange fruit, every odd island is magnificently described. So a brilliant book. So I think those reviews, it's praise for the previous book. Your previous, previous book. book. And then yes. on the front we've got the yes, review for this one. Yes, but what are you expecting from this From this one. Um, it's such a different book from the first book. And, um, you know, the first book had multiple characters and multiple locations uh, set all over the world um, and, and you know when you write a second book you've always left with the choice are you going to try and write something that compares to your first book um, and then uh, you'll always have people either decide it's better or worse and I decided that I wasn't even going to go that route and that uh, I was going to do something completely different so after all those characters all those locations I wrote about three people in one house in the countryside so uh, I went as far far left field as I could from the first book and um, it's a psychological very psychological story um, there's a little bit of Hitchcock in there um, there it's a uh, it's a what uh, would they call them a chamber thriller you know it's um, a kind of a psychological cat and mouse between characters that are in a very confined location and uh, the story just kind of ramps and builds and uh, hopefully there's a nice big payoff for the reader in the end and tell us about creating those characters, what you had in mind, and if they've lived up to those expectations in the book, in the story. That's a great question. Um, I, some of your characters, you, you know who they're going to be, and you try and write them the way you imagine them. And then some of your characters, as you write them, they kind of reveal themselves to you. Um, I'm not somebody who thinks um, about every detail of the plot before I get writing. So there's an idea about what needs to happen. And uh, my main character in there, about halfway through the book, he has to do something very despicable. But, uh, but you have to write a character that people can still empathize with and that they, uh, you know, they can still like in some, some way. So in order to the, the journey of trying to create a character that's likable and that the reader can empathize with, uh, to get that character to a point where he does something despicable, it, um, that's probably the trickiest thing because you can't do things that go against the character's uh, nature. So, um, so, so, so yeah, so, you, so you, you spend time with your character and you, know, you get to know them really well and then eventually somewhere along the book they just take a life of their own. And, uh, and then they're in cruise control and you're, you're reading what they're going to do as much as the reader's reading it. And at the end, they're done and you've, you're left with them. And sometimes you miss them and sometimes you're glad that they're not in your life anymore. <laughs> do you take the characters with you like everywhere you go when you're in the writing process? Or do you just sort of put them away in a box until you start writing again? How um, does it work for you? It's such a, you know, it was such a dark book to write. And um, it... Uh, um, I, I realized that I, I took two years to write it, so I realized I couldn't stay in that dark space over two years um, because, you know, I have a life and a wife and a child and a job and friends and whatnot. So 
I, um, I learned um, to compartmentalize my writing from the rest of my life. And it's the only way it's kind of a survival tactic, I guess. Um, so, yes, I do spend time with my characters. When I'm with them, I'm with them. And when I'm not with them, I, I, I kind of separate myself. It's kind of like when you're with a group of friends, you aren't hanging out with your family in your head at the same time, I suppose. Uh, and you try to do the same thing with your, with your characters. So tell us, the uh, Inside Out Man, yeah. is there a sequel that you're planning, maybe a movie adaptation, or are you just that th author that's just always going to write books and just let them sit nicely in just our lined palms. up on my just, shelf. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, at the end of the day, uh, my love is w for storytelling. Um, so whether that's storytelling in book form, uh, play form, film form, song form, um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't really uh, matter all too much. I think there's an incredible amount of freedom with writing a novel. Um, I do have a love of film, but of course, it takes you know, a team and a crew and a budget and all kinds of things with the book, you're completely free to do whatever it is that you like. The book has been optioned for adaptation in the States. So uh, hopefully there'll be a very good Hollywood um, uh, adaptation of the novel. And um, as it stands, I don't have a sequel uh, in mind. Um, Life's short. I'm not sure if I. I'm not sure if I want to. Um, I right. always think of something new to write. You know. All right, Fred. Life is indeed short, and that is Fred Strait. And speaking to us about his latest book, uh, a novel titled "The Inside Out Man."